Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Gerlan Lu. So this one only comes in these 50 mil bottles. Um, this is actually the second one I've owned and I don't know if somebody took this cap off the last time or something that the last one I owned had the, the the Guerlain Listerine bottle wood caps. It had like a little black wood cap, almost like the uh, Arsene Lupin Dandy cap, like that color. That was pretty much just black on top of here. So they don't click, they're just... And I've already sprayed some on my arm. If I smell this, it's not going to give me a lot here because this isn't the type of fragrance that really... Um, settles thickly uh, comes in this box this is the sleeve it's got that kind of little cool and on the back looks like that inside is this though which is really nice it's like some kind of I think it's like a fake leather the presentation I put that picture here let's see where, which way am I going this way is really nice um, when you open it up. It sits inside, so. Nice, very nice. So how does the scent itself smell? To me, um, It's got kind of a, like a smoky, unsweetened pear. So it's not that it's not a sweet fragrance because there is a vanilla Guerlainade uh, scent profile in there. But what this, the, the actual pear note on the top isn't a sweetened pear note. Um, maybe a little carnation and something uh, smoky clove there's some clove so it's like a smoky vanilla base with a, a smoky dry pear clove maybe a little carnation you know that that kind of bite that carnation gives a lot of times and that it kind of uh, almost smells bitter and I don't know. I, I find carnation a little off-putting by itself, but inside of things, it, it doesn't smell bad, but it, it has to be a ancillary note. Here it's used pretty well. Um, it's light. It's airy. Uh, it's, it's, a sol it's a solid fragrance. What it really reminds me of is um, Bois d'Argent by uh, Dior. To me... They don't have a lot of the same notes. I mean, what that's got a iris and and um, iris and myrrh, and this almost it. I don't think it's got any iris in it, and I, I don't know if it's got any myrrh in it. It might have myrrh in it, but the way the things all fit together, it's one of those things where it doesn't smell. Uh, they're not they're not constructed the same, but I think that the end effect is similar, but with a little more Bois d'Argent has uh, a honeyed, uh, especially in the the older batches has like a the the, the honey note in that um, is different than this. That that's definitely a big difference, and this would have that carnation in place in the middle, bringing it to a bitter, a little bit more. Um, I mean, they're both mature fragrances, but this is a little bit more mature. And um, this one's a little more subdued. Um, it's a decent fragrance, not one I'm wild about. At the price point, I think it's, I, the, the packaging is fantastic. At the price point, I, mm, I don't know. It, say this one is a 50 mil, and 
you're looking at discounters around the $60 range, maybe, uh, maybe 62 plus tax. Uh, you should probably get shipping for free in that point. And so what, 68 bucks. I don't know. It's not the quality is there. The blending is there. I guess it's really whether it's to your taste. I prefer a little more gusto in the middle. I, I, I prefer a composition that has a little more heart and a in it, like a little more mid. Um, and for that that price, I mean, that would be the same as a hundred and thirty dollar bottle at of a hundred mil at uh, a discounter, not retail, because this retails for much more. So honestly, I think it's overpriced. Um, but solid, I ain't mean, fine. Um, beautiful packaging. So, Gerlon Lou.